there are some people who just trigger you. You know what I'm talking about. Those people who just always get under your skin. Either it's the way that they dress or the way that they talk or the things they talk about or simply how they take up space in a room. But those people who trigger you that just get under your skin, no matter how hard you try, you can't stop feeling triggered by them. Well, today I wanna to share with you three mindset shifts that can be really helpful in maintaining a sense of confidence within yourself when you are in the presence of these people. Now, I'm not gonna pretend that these mindset shifts work automatically or that even if you go out and try all of them today, you're suddenly gonna feel super confident around these really triggering people. But you may find that by practicing these shifts, by trying one, two, or all three of them, that you can at least maintain some sense of calm and feel less activated when you're around these people. Now, each of these tips targets types of thoughts we have when we're around people who trigger us. So we call them automatic thoughts, the automatic thoughts that come up when we're around these triggering people. And the first tip, first automatic thought that we are going to target today is they get away with everything. You know how some people just seem to get away with everything? They can say anything they want and nobody cares. They can do anything they like and everyone just lets it go. Oh, that's just so-and-so being so-and-so. People just give them permission and space to make mistakes or even be inappropriate. And they seem to just get away with it every time. As soon as we think about people breaking the rules or acting outside of social norms, getting away with stuff, it really does stir something inside of us where we feel that there's some sort of injustice being done. So whenever we have a thought like this, they're getting away with everything, whether or not they really truly are, it impacts us poorly. That thought itself impacts us poorly. And it really hurts our ability to feel confident in the moment when we feel like, well, this person can do whatever they want because on some level we're believing then that means that we can't. They get away with everything, but if I did the same thing, I wouldn't be able to. In order to shift within your mind and let go of the feelings that come along with that specific thought, put yourself in their shoes and think about what is it that they're hoping to get by acting this way? What is it that they need? Are they looking for validation? Are they looking to feel special? Are they looking to feel unique? What is it that they're looking for or needing by acting this way? This is about creating space within you so that these thoughts are not so triggering for you so that you're not thinking they're getting away with everything and that it's so unfair. Instead thinking they need to do X, Y, or Z to feel a certain way can help calm that competitive, that unfairness, that injustice uh, feeling within you so that you can feel a little calmer and more trusting of yourself in that situation, right? More trusting that you can show up as who you are and it's okay that it doesn't have to be any kind of competition. Okay, so the second automatic thought that can come up when we're feeling really triggered by certain people is something that sounds like they're taking up too much space. Now, this may sound a little different for you, but what I mean by this one is basically feeling like this person calls so much attention to themselves or they're always the center of attention. So when we feel this, we instantly feel small, ignored, or overlooked, right? So instantly, when I think that, when I feel that, when I say that to myself, I instantly feel like, how would anybody notice me in this room? Because this person is literally sucking all of the energy and air out of the room. So this one, practice replacing it with the idea that there is enough space for both of us. So even if it's a small room, a trick that I use is just thinking about how many millions of oxygen molecules might be in the room, right? And even that, I have no idea if that's scientifically at all um, uh, accurate, but, but even that thought, that image in my mind, it makes me feel suddenly like there's just this ampleness, there's this abundance of space. And so no matter how much space and energy this person may be taking up, that there is still, there's still plenty of abundant space and energy and room for me to take as well. There's plenty for both of us. So the third mindset shift focuses on the automatic thought. 
they are better than me, right? So you may think they are prettier than me, they are smarter than me, they are more talented than me, they are funnier than me. For this thought, instead of thinking how much more they are th than you in any situation, focus on what you bring, right? So instead of they are more blank than me, think about I am this. I bring value. I bring funny jokes. I bring support. I bring camaraderie. I bring energy and spirit. Focusing on what you bring, refocus this back on your value, what you share, why people like being in your company, why people appreciate having you in the room, and the things about yourself that you truly like, the things about yourself that you feel good about, focusing on those instantly makes us all feel more confident, right? Okay, so those are three mindset shifts to help you feel a little more confident, a little less activated and triggered in a situation where you're around somebody who just gets under your skin. So I hope these tips helped. And if they did, please take a minute to smash that like button and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.